Welcome back. The friggin' motor is out. <laughs> so, I have not posted in a very long time. I know I did a really quick transmission overview the other day on how to pull that and drop that. And I'm sorry, this is... Uh, I don't even know when this is going to go up because as far as editing, all that shit. Um, but, motor is out. I pulled it with everything pretty much still on it. The exhaust manifolds, I have um, the um, Smith manifolds, they're still on it. That one is still on. Um, and I'm going to let you know, the hardest part was, one, I didn't have the Z-Sling by that. Supposedly, that makes life super easy. It bolts right into the top or I'm gonna call it the lower intake. Um, so it's just gonna go right into the bolts for that. But what I did is had the sling, had pretty short chains, um, and I kept trying to pull it from these two bolts and the back two. And that keeps the motor too balanced. To be honest with you, this, with a normal LS or whatever it may be. It's just natural. You pull the motor everything stays nice and level all that stuff With the Z because there is Literally no room for anything as you know if you own this car um, You really actually want to follow the body lines So you want the back to slope so after you know about two hours of struggling trying to pull it up level I then just simply move the chains and the bolts to uh, right before uh, five and six and then obviously the front two right here and that gave the motor enough tilt where I was able to clear the steering shaft with no problem uh, there's a little side hard line right there that uh, runs to the transmission solenoid um, and all that stuff so literally we did that and pulled it in on the first try so frustrating but it is what it is i cannot wait to clean all this shit up take all this stuff out and get it going i want to let you know right now what i am doing is is i'm starting to remove everything that i'm going to junk so i have my oil old oil lines which you cannot pull unless the motor is out i'm not sure if i actually have to snip them or not probably need two hands right now to pull on these things yeah I think I'm gonna have to snip, snip them but there's two brackets for it there is one bracket that is let me see if I can find it for you but it's it's literally it's hidden one right back there Ooh. and the other one the other bracket is right down this one right here I took it out already um, but now those hard lines can come out. And then I'm also going to be taking those, the fuel hard lines out as well too. Because uh, I'm running uh, an 8 AN out and a 6 back. The stock is a 6, but it is going to be a braided line that I'm, I'm switching everything to. Um, I'm going to be cleaning this thing up. I'm going to be painting it, um, coating it, you name it. This thing's going to look amazing it's intimidating there's so much shit here um, since I am doing a high cast delete too right so these hard lines that run underneath and then back down and follow the fuel lines those will be gone as well too this will look section will look completely different and yeah the only harness I'm going to replace is just the transmission alternator harness. That was pretty pretty banged up, um, but it was <laughs> it was holding. I mean, it, it was good. So, um, but yeah, so that's it. New battery, different battery, smaller one. I think I'm going to get the one from Special EZ. And uh, yeah, and then don't worry, guys. When I break down this motor. Um, which will be in the next week or so. Um, I'll kind of take you to, through everything. Also, too, I'll let you know everything that I'm going to be keeping and selling. 
Watch out, dogs. So, right there is a Specialty Z flywheel. I will be selling that and getting a different one. Uh, although it has pretty, been pretty amazing, these pieces can be replaced. Um, you can see there are a few burn, burn marks starting to happen with the clutch, so it was holding great, um, but it was coming. Um, I don't think my manifolds are going to fit up with my turbo, with my new turbo, my GTX 2860s, which kind of sucks because these are the best that you can buy for this car. So unfortunately, most likely those will be getting sold and I'll have to go with AMS. Um, turbos will be being sold. I'm gonna clean those up for you guys. Uh, what else? And then yeah, all new pulleys, right? I'm gonna get an upgraded alternator, starter. Um, yeah, I'll be doing the polarized fuel lines. I mean, you name it, so yeah. Just wanted to kind of give you guys an update on what's going on. Um, but yeah, really right now, like I said, just going to start taking out everything I don't need. But that is it for right now. Hopefully that little tip helps you if you're pulling the motor by chains. Got to get it on that, like a 45 degree angle. And you'll be make life easy for you. Appreciate it. Let me know any comments. Let me know any other tips, tricks, recommendations. Again, this is my first time pulling this and, uh, and, and working on this car, this in depth. So I appreciate all the help guys. Have a good day.